Welcome back to our study in the two letters that Paul wrote to Timothy. We're in the first letter in the fourth chapter and in our last session we talked about how the difference in our priorities is over that which builds our flesh and caters to our physical needs and that which is really important in our spiritual life and what is really eternal in that process. We're going to pick up in verse 9. It is a trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance. Now there are some people who take that verse and apply it to verse 8 and some people who take that verse and apply it to the rest of the verses that we'll read today. I think it's easy to do it both ways. I think we obviously need to know how to apply our priorities in that which is eternal over that which is simply our physical life, our tangibles, and that does not mean we should not cater to them or try to be strong and healthy. It's the idea that the eternal value is our spiritual life. And so I think this verse can apply to that, and I think it can also apply to the verses we're about to read. So here we go, verse 10. For it is for this we labor and strive because we have fixed our hope on the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of believers. In other words, he's saying we need to spiritually be fixed on what we know is the reality of our faith in God through Jesus Christ. He says, because God has provided salvation to all people, but the ones who understand it and know it best are those who have already believed. Um, there is also an argument that this says that all people will be saved. And of course, we know that from listening to Christ speak throughout the four Gospels and also listening to Paul's dissertations, especially in the book of Romans, that not everyone will be saved. And uh, that is not a reason for us to give up on evangelism. It's just the reality that there are some people who will never come to faith in Christ. But God is especially real to those who do step into that realm of faith and accept Christ as their Savior and their Lord, which means he is their master also. And when they do that, it is very interesting to watch the transformation of life and how much things get focused more and more on the eternal. In other words, what happens after this life is, is over. And then what that, how that affects how we live this life too. Well, let's go on in verse 11. Prescribe and teach these things. Let no one look down on your youthfulness, but rather in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity show yourself an example of those who believe. He's really laying the cards on the table in front of Timothy. He's saying, yeah, you're young and people are going to look down on you because they don't think you've got the experience you need. But Paul knew Timothy to be a man of faith. And he says, so show them who you are by how you live your life. And that's very important for every Christian. And when we learn how to show our Christian faith by how we live. And he gives some great examples here. He says, but rather in speech, by the words we use, how we talk to others. He says not only that, but conduct, how we live our daily lives in actions, how we love, and love is an action that's backed up by our words, but we put love in action to make it known. And he says then by faith, in other words, understanding how we trust God for what we know to be true. And then he says in purity, in purity, excuse me. And in our purity, we learn how to look more and more like Jesus, who was completely pure without sin. And he says, show yourself an example. In other words, be the example. Don't just sit around and tell people how to do it. Be the example. Sometimes that hurts. Sometimes that's very costly, but it is very valuable to help others. And sometimes we have to bite our own pride. We have to just swallow hard. We have to, as some people say, eat crow. But when we do that and we show an example of Christ as he was portrayed to us in the four Gospels, people see that and they realize who you are in your relationship to God through Jesus Christ. Well, we'll pick up there in our next session.